Okay, good morning. Today I'm talking to the lovely Christine, who is also following a carnivore way of eating. And uh, she's going to tell us a little about her story and why she chose this way to eat. Do you want to tell me, <laughs> right before we were uh, recording, you were telling me that you used to work for nutritionists and chiropractors. And how did that influence how you're eating then and how you're eating now? Yeah, so um, I'm a mom of five. Um, I have five kids. Um, <laughs> ages uh they're the four of them the first four are adults they're 23 22 19 18 and then i have a 12 year old oh wow and yeah you can imagine what my body <laughs> was like after you know having kind of back-to-back -back babies i tried to put myself back together each time and uh, my body did really well i didn't you know gain and not lose a lot of weight my body was pretty good through it um but i did at the end of it feel like a train wreck, you know, mm. and I'm trying to keep, you know, five other bodies, <laughs> people alive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, you know, some days it was just, you know, all I had to, to keep them going. And I, I wasn't sleeping right. I wasn't eating right. I was taking bits and pieces of their food, you know, mac and cheese or, you know, whatever they were eating. Mm -hmm. um, I, I definitely wasn't taking care of myself as much as I was taking care of them. And I, um, I was introduced to nutrition through my husband when we met over 25 years ago. And it was something new to me because I didn't grow up in a house where we even worried. It was like, you just eat something, you know, mm -hmm. like food is food. It's across the board. And, and they did, you know, it, stress very much eating vegetables. I spent a lot of evenings after dinner sitting at the table, looking at my green beans, moving them around, not wanting to eat them. <laughs> um, oh, wow. But, you know, um, it was just the standard American diet. It was, you know, a lot of times it was meat and potatoes. So it was, you know, not my mom cooked a lot. So that was good. But she also baked. So we had every meal we had a meal and dessert. And that was just kind of, you know, I started the day usually with a pop tart, chocolate pop tart, which, you know, <laughs> it's not food at all. No. Um, so by the time I met my husband, I had no immune system because I had been on tons <gasps> of antibiotics my whole oh, life. No. Um, and I had insomnia. So I would be falling asleep at seven o'clock, which is when we were going to go on a date. And then I would be up at two in the morning, like no. cleaning, cleaning the house or doing whatever, because I just couldn't sleep. My body was just very out of whack. My hormones were just very crazy. Um, I felt a bit crazy myself because I, um, yeah. So that's when I got introduced to nutrition was through my husband. So even though like going through all the, the burrs and, and pregnancies and everything, I tried to, you know, I was on supplements and, um, doing all that. And fi finally I, I went, you know what, like there is really something to like what you put in your body is how it's going to work. You know, mm -hmm. like you put the right gas in your gas tank, it's going to run right. If I put diesel in my regular car, it's not going to run very well. So um, I started to really look at that. And we did every single diet you could think of. Like, oh, wow. We did the eat right for your blood type. We did, uh, we went vegetarian. Um, we, you know, we did paleo, we did keto, we did everything over the years. And I would feel better for a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I would have mm -hmm. these, you know, awesome changes in my body. And then I would just, it would fall off. And I somehow just couldn't, couldn't get back to that beautiful feeling I had for the first like month or two. Okay. And then um, I went to work for one of the nutritionists I was, uh, I was going to see. And I was like, first of all, it was like, okay, I have seven people on their program. I'm going to see if I can help them and work for them. So then I can get a discount. <laughs> I guess it was sure. It's astronomical, you know? Oh, wow. So, um, you know, but it was, but it also dawned on me that like, okay, so we're having to take handfuls of supplements and like, how is that right? You know, mm -hmm. I know our soil is not good. I know, you know, I've, I've through working through them, I've learned a lot, but like, we shouldn't have to take that many supplements to just right be alive you know <laughs> it's a lot you know <laughs> yeah and so our food you know it just i couldn't find a way to have our food kind of like somewhere meet in the middle where we we're taking some supplements and then food right and my husband had started on the carnivore diet um 
like two years before me. Oh, but we would go out to eat and we would, you know, he would, he would cheat, right. He would have mm -hmm. like whatever we were eating, French fries or do, you know, whatever he would just do that. So I didn't see like miraculous results. Mm -hmm. And, okay. um, and so I was like, okay, like I, I like that because I would love to just eat meat. I mm -hmm. really do not like vegetables. Um, but I just was kind of hesitant for some reason because I had heard all this, you know, information about carnivore or like, you know, just eating meat is bad for you. So, right. um, so then the, you know, when I was working with the doctor, I started just, I started gaining weight. I, my hormones were off and this was over like probably a year period where I was like, okay, am I going into like premenopause or am I, you know, like what is happening? And she was yeah. trying to help me. And she ended up putting me on this um, Gerson diet, which is for people who have cancer, but I didn't have cancer. It was like just okay. a major like elimination diet. And it was okay. mostly vegetables. Oh, okay. So it was like you, you make a soup with the vegetables and you, I had just very little bits of protein. Um, you pretty much just eat vegetables, right? Yeah. So we're, she keeps testing me through, um, it was um, muscle testing, you know, she keeps testing me and my supplement sheet is getting longer and longer. And my amounts of supplements are getting like just handfuls and handfuls a day. Like it's a full-time job to take these supplements. <laughs> oh my, it's so and crazy. She, I know. And she, and she said, like, do you live near like some waste plant or like, like, mm -hmm. how are you being exposed to all these chemicals and heavy mm -hmm. metals and toxins? And, and I was like, I have no idea. Like, I'm not doing anything different than I've been doing all these years, except for this diet. Yeah, that I'm on this, this mm -hmm. Gerson diet. And so without her knowing, I just I went, you know what? I'm going to try carnivore. I haven't tried carnivore. <laughs> How yeah. bad could it be? Right. So I, I did what's called priming. Okay. And um, when did you start, by the way? I'm sorry. I so started well. in like September of 2022. Oh, okay. Okay. Great. That's yeah. so interesting. I, that's and when I, shortly after that is when I started learning about it. Yeah. Yeah. I think it, it, there was like a surge at that point. Like people were, um, coming off of long COVID, like they're having long mm -hmm. COVID symptoms and trying mm -hmm. to find just a way to handle things. But right. um, yeah, so I started it and I did what's called priming, um, which is you have three meals a day. Like, okay, so I'm an all or nothing girl. So if I'm going to do something, I'm going to just, I dove in, I started listening to podcasts and mm. like reading all the literature and yeah. like in the car, just, I just immersed myself in it. Cause I was like, okay. I'm going to do this and I'm going to do it right. So I can say that I, I really did try it and do right. it, you know, not just like, Oh, I tried it for three days and I didn't feel any better, you know? <laughs> so yeah. like I was at the lowest point physically, how I felt I was gaining weight um, very rapidly and just feeling horrible. Mm -hmm. So um, I went on the priming. So you eat three meals a day mm -hmm. of just beef okay. as much as you can till you're just mm -hmm. almost like, like tapping out, you know, okay. I can't. And so what it does is it goes in and it, it heals your body very quickly and it, it fills in the gaps of what you're missing. And it also helps with the sugar because that was another thing like the, the blood sugar. I was, mm -hmm. I got blood tests back and I showed that I was in metabolic syndrome, which is just right before pre-diabetes. Okay. And I have had family members. It's not like direct. They're like uncles mm -hmm. who have um, had issues like losing limbs and, you know, eventually passing away from diabetes. So I, oh. I saw what that did to them. And mm -hmm. that was like, okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm done with sugar. Like, you know, I need to figure out how to, it's an addiction. You know, mm -hmm. I grew up on sugar and eating things that were sugar. So I had to really figure out how to do that. And it's very hard because you're surrounded by it, you mm -hmm. know? So very quickly, the first week and a half of doing the priming, um, I felt amazing. Wow. I had never, I hadn't felt like that in a I don't even know when. Mm -hmm. And the cravings were gone. The voices were off, which is usually, you know, like you have these voices, like, you know, mm -hmm. go find something sweet. You just had, sh you know, dinner <laughs> and, you know, and like heat seeking missile to find whatever's in the house that could be, you know, 
sugar. So, right. or drive, I would literally get in the oh, car wow. and drive to get ice oh. cream or whatever. <laughs> so it it is an addiction. Like people don't think of it that way, but you know, you have to treat it that way and you can't go mm-hmm. hang out at birthday parties and, you know, with all this cake and stuff like right. that. I had, you know, but very quickly with the priming, I felt better. So I did it. It's you're supposed to do it for three weeks. Okay. And I did it for an additional week. Cause I was like, I just want to make sure that this is real. Like the voices are off. And until you get to that point or you experience it, you have no, idea. it's like breathing new air. Right. Like, <laughs> until you feel this, like I had energy without any other help. Like I had like natural energy where I could just get up and go. I would, you know, walking two miles mm-hmm. in the morning do, you know, and I was just like, what in the world? <laughs> My husband was just like, wow, who are you? You know, because mm-hmm. I even found myself not saying I'm tired. Like oh, that wow. was part of my vocabulary. Like I would just be like, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Uh-huh. I would, I would run into a friend and she's like, how are you doing? I'm so tired. Like uh-huh. that was part of my daily, all day long vocabulary. And I wasn't wow. saying that. And I wasn't wanting to, like, I would get up and do some things and then want to go back to bed. Like, and that's like how you can't be productive like that. I can't hold right. a job. I can't, you know, and it's just like, so every day I was just kind of like, pulling up my body and like dragging it through the day versus like, go, go, go. I had the energy going to, I was going to classes at night, working full time. You know, um, I don't work out. I was like, you know, my muscles, I just like get up. I, someone's like, can you help me with this? I'm like, yeah, I just pick it up and like, you know, I'm 51. I don't, you know, most wow. people who you look are amazing. in their fifties, thank you. <laughs> are like, are you sure you can do it? I'm like, you know, until my body says, you know, tells me different, I'm just going to keep, keep going, you know, right. But that was the difference. It was like, that was after, okay. So after two weeks backing up, I, I had her test me, um, without mm. telling her my nutritionist, okay. okay. And my supplements at the time I had 25 supplements on my sheet okay. and they were anywhere from five per dose, like five of each yeah. one it was anywhere from like three to five or more. Oh like, no, that's crazy. So I was taking handfuls literally. And so okay. she took me and she's like, Oh my gosh, this is working. Um, this is great. <laughs> she started taking me off of all the supplements. I went down to eight supplements. Okay. And they were like doses of two. Oh, wow. That was after two weeks on this way of eating. Wow. And then Did you take your supplements the whole time while you were priming. I cut back because I just, okay. could, I mean, it was just, it was so much, you it know, it's like you were taking anywhere between 75 and hundred supplements a day. That's so crazy. At oh least, my God. at least. I mean, it's it was so just expensive. That's so, so much is. money. I know. Oh my gosh. So I was, I was working there. So I, you know, I got a discount, oh, okay. but still, okay. it was still, you know, 50% of whatever, you know, I was, okay. I was, um, taking, but, um, so then I didn't say anything and I was like, Yay, it's working, you know? Yeah. So, um, I, I mean, to, to say that I felt like there was something really wrong with me is an understatement, you know, okay. before I started carnivore, like the way she was like, how are you so toxic? How, like, what is happening? You know, mm-hmm. I was just like, Oh my gosh. So then I went another two weeks and I had her test me again on the priming or just regular, like this was priming? still while I was on priming. Cause I did it oh, for okay. a month. Oh, so the okay, first so- two weeks of priming, I had her after that, I had her test me. Then another two weeks, I had her test me. I went down to four supplements. Oh, wow. And they were mostly for my hormones, okay. which even today I still take like hormone, like they're not even, it's like something for my ovaries, my uterus, um, you know, because I'm still at 51, I'm still having a normal cycle, which is now okay. normal. It's, I don't have crazy whacked out hormones or anything oh, wow. because of this way of eating, but yeah. I do still need, um, you know, a few supplements. So yeah, it was literally for my adrenals, um, my thyroid, and then two for my, um, for my hormones. Okay. And then, and it was like one or two of each. Wow. It was like drastically different. So I was like, okay, like, I don't need any more proof. Like right. the way I feel the the program that I went from to now, like 
I, I don't need any more proof, you know? And um, I had life long, like literally from the time I was little, had problems with my kidneys and my bladder. And that oh, was wow. kind of like my weak link in my body. And mm -hmm. that went away. Um, awesome. I just, you know, it, it was, it's so freeing to have these things like to be eating, you know, ribeye steaks <laughs> and to be <laughs> feeling like this, it feels a little bit like surreal because I've been told my whole life that I needed to eat more vegetables. Mm -hmm. I needed to do this. I needed to, I needed to eat breakfast, which is really funny. I never loved breakfast and, Interesting. and now like fasting is a thing. So now, you know, so I'm like, you know what, this whole time I should have just listened to my body, you know, <laughs> I should have just said like, okay. And, you know, humored everybody and just done what I felt for my body was the best, you know? Sure. Um, I've had people tell me you don't eat enough fish. Like you need to eat more fish. And then, <laughs> We, we get tested for mercury and they're higher than I don't, ha I don't test for mercury, you know, like, so mm -hmm. it's just like some of those things where it's like, you intuitively know what your body needs. And then when you sure. keep eating like this, my body tells me like, mm -hmm. I, I've tried different things. I've tried eating pork. I've tried mm -hmm. eating, um, chicken. Um, and my body's like pork, no good. You don't feel mm -hmm. good after that, you know, because you've narrowed it down <laughs> to just a few things that you're right. eating. So you can versus when I was eating the, a normal diet, healthy, you yeah. know, I was eating salads with protein and stuff like that. Um, I would probably eat a hundred ingredients mm -hmm. at least in, you know, between the dressing on my salad, between all the yummy stuff I wanted in my salad to the seasonings on the meats to the, you know, everything. So you can't tell like, oh, it was probably the chicken. Like, yeah. How do you even know what, when right. I, what I found out, what she started taking me off of was the vegetables. Oh, wow. Like I was testing, I was bloating to be mm -hmm. like six months pregnant and mm -hmm. she, and I had made a whole week's worth of salads for right. meal prep, you know? And she's like, you can't eat that. Like it's, you're, you're reacting to romaine lettuce. And I'm wow. like, organic romaine lettuce, like what? <laughs> mm -hmm. So once you pare it down, you know, even recently we went out to eat, which we don't usually do. Okay. Um, because we just don't know what's in it and it's not worth right. taking you from here to here, uh, you know, and probably a week of feeling not your best, right. um, for a night out that cost me a week's worth of food. I can get a rack of ribeye <laughs> for right. $150, you know, and cut sure. it into steaks and my husband and I can eat, you know, like it's not even about the money even. It's more right. like, you know, it is because if I can't work my best, if I can't, mm -hmm. you know, um, if I'm not, you know, aware enough, I feel icky, I'm tired. That's, that's money too. You know, I'm not right. being productive. Right. So, um, yeah. So we went to this place called Texas Day Brazil and mm -hmm. they literally, we were like, great friends, birthday party, they're carnivore too. And they bring mm -hmm. these, these spits of meat and they cut yeah. off pieces for you. Right. So we're just like, okay, perfect. We can eat all the meat we want, you know, but it had a lot of spices on it. And oh wow, I don't eat, uh, you know, I eat salt and white pepper. Okay. It's pretty much what I eat on my food. So, um, so yeah, so I was feeling pretty icky for a for a few days, you know, and oh, it's wow. just like, I don't want that, you know, like it, it mm -hmm. takes you back to where you were. And it's like, you know, if you're feeling icky all the time, mm -hmm. it's like, okay, one more night of feeling that's not going to do it. But if you're, um, you know, operating kind of at your optimum level, um, yeah. and it's not to say I don't still have body issues. Like, sure. like some people are like, Oh, I tried it for a few months and this thing didn't go away. Well, I'm 51 and yeah. for 49 years, I was doing things the complete opposite way. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to reverse that in even two years on carnivore. Right. Like I, right. it's, a, it's a pretty big ask to sure. think that you're going to reverse all of your, you know, body issues in a couple months or a couple years even, you know, so I'm right. still, I still have to watch my blood sugar. I still, you know, and, um, still just kind of honing in on what, what works and what doesn't. And, um, you know, it's a constant 
kind of going like, oh, wait, I don't feel too good. What was that? You know, mm -hmm. it's like, oh, that thing was cooked in avocado oil or something, you know, mm -hmm. like it's just, mm -hmm. but I can, I can look at it and go, okay, good. That's, I'll avoid that next time, you know? Yeah, exactly. And at least now you know what to avoid. You know what made you feel bad and then you don't go back to it one before. You can't because like you said, you're eating 100 ingredients. You don't know. <laughs> maybe it's all 99 of them that your body's reacting to. <laughs> totally. Yeah. And you're just, you're guessing. So I got sure. to the point where I was a bit ap apathetic about it because I was just like, I went the opposite. I just ate whatever I wanted because mm -hmm. it was like, nothing makes me feel good. So why am I depriving myself, you know, of... right? The, that, you know, German chocolate cake at a party or whatever, you know, but <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, like now, like I can feel like I get like a feeling in my stomach if I even, you know, attempt <laughs> it. But, um, but you do, it does give you your freedom of choice back. Cause I have like mm -hmm. during the holidays, mm -hmm. you know, I was like, okay, I'm going to have a little bit of this or a little bit of that. And I know what's going to happen. Right. You know? So then I'm like, okay, I'm going to feel like, you know, crappy for a few days. <laughs> and, sure. You know, but you also learn that, or I learned through working with these nutritionists that what you eat today is not how you're going to feel tomorrow. Okay. Right. So it takes three to five days for something to get through your system. Mm. So what was happening, and I, and I saw this happening with our patients because I, I was, I was there, um, I was kind of coaching them through the program. Yeah. And, um, they would be good all week. Okay. They would follow their program, eat what they were supposed to eat. You know, mostly protein and vegetables was what we had them on at the time. Yeah. Um, and then Friday at five o'clock, they would start having alcohol usually, um, mm -hmm. which is fine. You know, whatever okay. people choose to do, sure. you know, like I yeah. can't personally drink. My body doesn't like it. Sure. Um, so they would start to drink and then Saturday and Sunday, they would eat whatever they wanted. Okay. Okay, so then Monday, they would come in, or Tuesday, or even Wednesday, and be feeling like crap. And they're like, okay. I don't know, I've eaten so good all week. But mm -hmm. what happens is by the time it was getting through their system, they were starting over again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so they never really were eating good, because right. I mean, they were never feeling good. They were never, like they were following the thing mm -hmm. for four, four and a half days. But then right. as soon as like, work ended, they were off the rails. And so then all of that stuff that they did over the weekend. So Friday, it's Saturday, Sunday, Monday, they're feeling it yeah. <laughs> or Tuesday or Wednesday. Like, you know, it's just, right. this, it's just one big blob of eating crappy and canceling out what you did those other days. Right. Oh man. Just feeling crappy, you know? And so, yeah. so then, you know, they're like, no, I had, I ate, so good yesterday. Look, look what I ate. They would write it down, you know, and I'm like, okay, yeah. well, let's go back three to four days. What did you okay. do on the weekend? Oh, I had a piece of cake at my daughter's birthday. And then, oh yeah, I had two margaritas. And then <laughs> I had this, you know, which are sugar. Like it's, right. it's not that the margaritas are bad. It's, it's sugar, you know? And so if you're yeah. trying to avoid that, then, you know, that's, that's what's happening. So, and they yeah. were like, no, like they couldn't get it through their head that it took a bit of time to get through their system. It's just like instant, you know, like you eat it and it goes through <laughs> instantly goes through you. Yeah. Some foods do affect you right away. Like I have found oh. I eat something and then I'll like feel itchy or, and I'm like, mm -hmm. Oh, there must've been something in it, you know? Yeah. But, but most of the time it takes three to five days to get through mm -hmm. your body. So okay, you're not, if you're trying to figure out what it was, look three to five days ago. <laughs> Don't look no. yesterday. Cause you're going to, you're going to blame the wrong you're my the wrong thing well <laughs> that's so interesting for me i'm so highly sensitive that i will feel bad instantly <laughs> i'll know oh i ate that that's why i yes. feel bad because it's not the steak and the eggs which is yeah or the beef or whatever i'm eating that made me because i've been on that for a while no it's pretty much instantaneous i remember eating popcorn a couple a little while ago with my kids for a movie night i don't remember exactly when it was but um back pain i think my back pain started and i couldn't sleep mm -hmm. that night and this is instant yeah. because for me, yeah. it's pretty instant. But I think if you don't know your body as well, it's sure, sure. Yes. And like I said, there's some things that will will instantly like I have with my bladder. If I mm. if I drink something that has anything sweet in it, yeah, I will instantly have issues like cramping, oh, wow. like I'll have pain. Mm. Um, 
but I think you have to get to that point where you've cleaned right. out your body enough mm -hmm. to know, right. You know, like, yeah. like big changes, you know, right. you can't, if most of the stuff that you eat, it does, but if you're eating the same thing every day, it's not going to affect you. Yeah. Right. If you're yeah, eating exactly. steak and eggs and whatever, like yeah. you're going to notice right away because it's just, it's affecting you. It's, it's some, it's a foreign invader. And right. I, and like what I tell people now, like, I'm like, I, it's worse if you cheat <laughs> yeah. on carnivore. <laughs> and I tell people in the beginning, cause I'm just like, it's, it's not the same. Once no. you get your body to a certain level, your body keeps your, is your, your monitor. And it's right. just like, what did you just do? Like right. literally, four alarm fire, sure. you know, yeah. like you're saying, but with these people I was working with, like they it's were different. Yeah. They're, they're not there yet, you know? Right. Um, and so you clean out your body so much to where it's like, okay, we operate really well with these four things, mm -hmm. you know, you go right. outside of that and you know, you're going to have an off day, off week, off, whatever back pain. Mm -hmm. I get, I get it too, because of my kidneys. So mm. it, it's just like, okay, what was that? You know, yeah. and then you can spot it almost instantly. But if you're, if you're in the sea of drinking and eating, whatever, you're, you're not going to notice that, you know, it's right. not going to be an instant foreign invader, you know, <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> what is that, you know, thing that you just did? Like, like I said, I ate like black pepper. I, you know, I had to really mm. whittle it down to just, you know, like you're saying, if I, if I do go off, I, I feel really bad, like mm -hmm. really bad. Yeah. So it, it's actually a gauge and it, it actually is, a it's protecting me. <laughs> right. Yeah. I understand. You know, I know. One, is, is, yeah. Sorry. I know one thing that I can have that doesn't make me feel totally terrible and sometimes I will enjoy it and it's not near me. So, uh, and I'm not going to say what it is because I don't want anyone to get triggered. <laughs> But it's not like a huge thing. And I usually yeah. eat it after a, a salad, a salad, <laughs> a steak, yeah. after a steak when we, if we go out and um, yeah. it's not very often, but I know, I know if I make a choice that's off, I have to, I know what's going to happen inside my body and how I'm going to feel. So I know what to stay away from. Um, yeah. And, and you yeah. also get that power of choice back. Right. Like, right. I didn't have that. I would be mm. like, I'm going to consciously have blah. Mm -hmm. And I would have it. And then I would be like, oh, well, since I had that, I'm going to have this. And then, oh, OK, I'm just going to start Monday. <laughs> you know, I won't eat that stuff right. anymore, you know. Right. And it was just this mind game that mm -hmm. <clears throat> would happen. And and I wasn't in control. And that's mm -hmm. a really like not nice way of feeling like. Right. But you're that you have no control over these voices that are like directing you to go get in your car and drive somewhere and get something you shouldn't eat. And you know, right. it's going to make you feel that, mm -hmm. you know, and could potentially mm -hmm. feed um, bigger things in your body, you know, right. that are not, not good, you know? Right. So, um, so yeah, just having that power of choice back there, there's so many things that people, when they say like, Oh, why do you love this way of eating? I'm like, Oh, like, you know, there's so many things besides the energy, like, mm -hmm. and, and until you felt that I, I had never, I don't even know when I felt that maybe when I was in my, in high school, you know, mm -hmm. um, where you have that endless energy where you could just right. go and go and go until you fall into bed. Like that's right. what I have. If I'm, if I'm really following mm -hmm. this way of eating, I, you know, I, I can, sometimes I'll take a walk at night, even after I did a two mile walk in the morning, you know, and that's the, I used to have to work out like, literally lifting weights and doing that. I don't work out now. I walk two miles in the morning. Um, and sometimes I'm like, you know what I need, I have a little bit too much energy at night. So I'll like yeah. take another walk at night, you know, but that's just so foreign to most people that until you come up above the clouds and you see what's mm -hmm. up there and you experience it, you, it's hard to, to relay that to somebody. Sure. Um, yeah. And, uh, and to have those cool. body things that have been like I've carried through my whole entire life, like mm -hmm. get better, get better, get better. One day you're like, oh my gosh, I don't have that problem anymore. Like mm -hmm. what the heck, you know? And, mm -hmm. and it's not hard. Right. Like, I've done so many hard diets I've so <laughs> many ways of eating that were so hard. Like literally you can imagine my husband's like, okay, I want to do 
uh, you know, name your, your diet. Well, okay, good. I would get the cookbook mm -hmm. and then I would just start making it. We just transition night one day to the next, just, oh, wow. transition, you know? And so I was making like paleo pad thai and it would take hours, you know, of making the sauce <laughs> and the, this and the, you know, yeah. and now it's like, I don't even cook anymore. Cause most of my kids are moved out. I only have yeah. one at home, Yeah. but we just make our own steaks. We just have, you know, our fridge looks amazing. Cause it's like, we're not throwing away food. Right. Um, you know, there's not all this rotting <laughs> vegetables. We get the bags of salad and just like we would eat out. We're right. saving so much money. People think it's expensive to eat carnivore, but we don't snack mm -hmm. and we don't eat out. And I eat right. one meal a day now. So I, it's awesome. you know, I eat one big ribeye or um, our recent thing is we got a big brisket and my mm. husband took it to the butcher and made it into, and they made it into ground beef. Oh, we're so doing that too. We're doing that oh, too. <laughs> it's so good. Like I've, so I'm good. like, oh my gosh, like I love ground beef, but I yeah. don't love it. Like I love okay. this. Yeah. So, it's so good. Um, yeah. We made it into like these ginormous burgers okay. and we, cause you know, they shrink. So you're like, yeah. you know, when you get a little burger, you're like, okay, I'll take four of those, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> and then we vacuum sealed them. So then we just pull them out and, nice. and he eats a different meal than I, I eat lunch. And so okay. he just makes his own and, um, yeah, I just, I was like, oh my gosh, if we did this when the kids were little, it would right. have been a big pot of ground beef or, you know, mm -hmm. whatever, you know, my kids eat, my daughter eats a little different than I do, but I don't okay. force it on, you know, I don't okay. make her eat carnivore, but she knows. And my, some of my adult kids, know and have experienced their own, you know, wins from, you know, acne going away. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. I have one of my oldest daughters. She's like, when I cut out dairy, you know, mm, like yeah. you have to find your thing. Like some people can have dairy on, on right. this way. Some people can't, but you are very aware of what's affecting you. So you can right. make these changes very easily and go like, oh yeah, like I think, you know, that's what's happening. So it's I love so it. Simple. I love it too. It's so simple. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You're just like, if you're like, how do you eat out? I'm like, well, first of all, I don't really like to eat out mm -hmm. because there's a lot of seed oils that are used and just, you know, there's a lot of things I can't have. So right. I have to pay for the side stuff to get my steak. And then right. my steak is the amount of like my week's <laughs> worth of food at home. Right. And so, um, you know, I don't like to eat out, but I will get, you know, double cheeseburger somewhere without the bun with, you know, sure. Whatever. You just, you figure out how to do it or you just wait. And that's another thing. You don't have to eat all the time. So right. you can wait until there's something you can eat, mm -hmm. which we do a lot of times. Um, or I'll carry the beef sticks or something like that with me. But a lot of times I just like to wait because then it's just my body really likes to not eat. Oh, it's, so funny. I'm not there yet. Maybe I need to do, I think I need to try your priming. I never did that. I never tried that. So yeah, it I was, only heard about it, it later, really but true. then I never tried it. Sorry, go ahead. So basically you only eat ground beef. No, you only beef. You don't even eat eggs. You just eat beef. So you're like doing a lion sort of diet for three weeks or how does it work? You can eat eggs. Yeah, you can, oh, I mean, okay. you can eat any protein, but really the meat is what, I mean, the beef is what heals the body. Yeah. Really like makes the biggest impact. Okay. So I did that for, I did, I, I normally don't eat breakfast. So that was a big change for me to eat, to okay. force myself to eat breakfast. I normally just have a coffee, um, like bulletproof coffee or something. Um, so I had to force myself to eat the breakfast, but I really wanted to do this. I really wanted mm -hmm. to like make a change and really give this a hundred percent, you know, like like I'm all in. So yeah. um, I would eat like a bowl of ground beef with maybe a scrambled egg mixed in okay. um, with butter. Sometimes I would, in this transition period on priming, I would use, um, I want to say it's like a primal steak sauce or something. Okay. I tried to find something with the best ingredients um, mm -hmm. just to give it a little, like, you know, I wasn't used to eating all that meat. And so right. I would sometimes drizzle that like very sparingly. And it got to the point after probably four days where I I was like, I don't need this. It's like, yeah, you start to love it just plain, you know, with um, salt and 
I discovered the white pepper because I was like digging into all these things like, what spices do you use? It makes sense to me that the spices could be affecting me. Sure. Um, but, um, you know, and the toxins in the spices and all of that. So I, you know, would just have salt and white pepper, which I love now. I love white pepper. Um, mm, I should try and, that, but it's very spicy, right? White pepper. It can be if you use a lot oh. of it, but I oh, just, okay. you know, sprinkle it like you would normal pepper, you know, like oh, you okay, don't fine. go to crazy town, <laughs> you know, it's, it's fine. Like, um, not like you don't see the flecks of pepper, you know, it's more okay. of a powder. Okay. But, um, yeah. And I've tried other things and I, you know, I just irritate my stomach now. So I've tried yeah. garlic, I've tried, you know, different things, but, um, but yeah, pretty much it's just like, uh, just go back to steak and you know, whatever, but you can eat any kind of beef, you know, okay. I would eat a steak for lunch. Um, and then maybe some more ground beef for dinner. Um, I did mix in eggs. I'm not a lover of eggs. Particularly, oh, okay. I I'll am. eat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My husband does. We have, we have chickens and, okay. you know, like pretty much they just feed him, you know, oh. <laughs> like, um, and we have to buy more cause they don't produce enough for him to eat six or seven egg yolks a day yeah. or whatever he eats. Sure. But, um, yeah, I just wasn't a big egg person, but I did it for variety and, um, you know, maybe a little Tabasco or something like that. But it got to the point where I was like, you know what, I really just want to cut out everything and see how I do. And okay. yeah, it, it went in pretty quickly and I started to feel good after even like three days, I was like, okay, mm -hmm. you know, like I didn't think I would make it a week doing that. Wow. But, but it, I felt so good that I was like, I want to see what happens. You know, I want to mm -hmm. see how this goes. And then literally like night one day to the next, my cravings just, you know, went away. Crazy. And then after the four weeks, I went down to two meals a day. I went back to not having breakfast. And then um, after a few weeks of that, I went down to one meal a day. And um, there are times when I feel like, because I know my body so well now, if I don't get enough sleep for some reason, mm -hmm. um, my adrenals aren't happy and need more food. Oh, so wow. I'm tired if I, you know, I'll wake up in the morning and if my body's like, you need to eat something, then I'll eat okay. um, or I'll have a lunch and a dinner. Um, mm -hmm. But I can tell my body, you know, if I don't deprive myself of food, if right. I need it, I will eat another meal. No problem. And I, it's okay. not about the weight gain at first. I, I wanted to lose weight. Yeah. Um, I had gotten, to, I've always been pretty slim okay. um, and I had gotten to, you know, a weight that I had never been even fully pregnant, you know, right. like I was, wow, I was pretty big. Like I, I look at pictures and it doesn't even for even friends are like, I never even noticed, you know, I was really, I'm tall, so I'm really good at hiding it. Okay. <laughs> but, um, but at first it was about the weight gain and the, the weight loss, you know? Yeah. And then after I started feeling, I was like, I don't even care anymore about the weight loss. Like right. it's a beautiful side effect, but mm -hmm. I, um, the way I feel like you can't, there's, there's nothing, there's no way to explain it. You have to experience it. And, sure. and you know, like at one point I was helping a friend with her, her kids and, and I'm like running around in circles and I'm holding a baby and doing this. And, you know, of course I've done it for five babies, so I'm sure. pretty good at it. But she was just like, where do you get all this energy? She's like, aren't you older than me? And I'm like, <laughs> I just, you know, I, my body really thrives on that caveman. Like, yeah. Um, you know, we have a meal, we, we, we got something we're going to eat and we might not eat for, you know, several mm -hmm. days. It just, yeah. whenever it's I awesome. go over that and I eat, you know, if I, there was a point a few months ago where my hormones were being a little weird and I gave in to my cravings and mm -hmm. I was eating way more than, you know, I was trying to eat as best I could. And, um, but it was just like, what is happening? So I quickly got into my nutritionist and was like, help me settle this out. But yeah. I was so tired. And so just, I, you know, just physically, I, I didn't feel good about myself. I, you know, it was just like, mm -hmm. what is happening? You know, and like, yeah. well, I'm eating way more than I should. And okay. I went back to the one meal a day and instantly my body's like, Oh, like, okay, good. <laughs> I'm 
we can do this, you know? So yeah. it's almost like that, the little, like that little bit of like, um, not, not, not eating, but just like, like on purpose, but just like yeah. letting it go and, and heal a bit. Yeah. If, we're, if we're constantly eating, it's your body's constantly digesting and working. And so you can imagine you're tired. Yeah. Is that it's like you're revving your engine just constantly. Mm -hmm. And so if you're just, you know, what I would do is I would get up in the morning, I would have my coffee on a normal diet and I would like a few hours later, I would be hungry. So then I would go to my mm -hmm. lunchbox at work and I would just start eating whatever snacks I had. And then I would mm -hmm. eat lunch and then I would eat, you know, some more snacks and then eat dinner. And there was no gap where my body was just like at rest. Right. Being able to, you know, do that reset of, of healing. Sure. So allowing it to do that. It's very happy. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm so happy to hear that. Yeah. yeah I've had, I've had like very crazy weird things happen to me. Uh, like skin issues clear up like a C-section scar that never healed for five years, healed up in like three months, like never properly healed. It wasn't like I had an open wound in my body, but it wasn't, right. it wasn't, the skin yeah. wasn't healthy. And sometimes it would even be a little pussy or or even bleed a little bit, like a very little bit. I don't want to say I had an open wound, but three no, months in, yeah. skin fixed, skin fixed. And I think even how you're saying it is you're much more strict than I am. So it just shows the power of incorporating meat, red meat into your diet you need, in the cartilage. And you need those like building blocks in your body. I wish I knew this when I was 14. Oh my God. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh my gosh. I oh know. I suffered a lot with body issues, you know, and oh, yeah. it's just, it took a lot of my, my time, you know, my, you know, just stressing about it, you know, um, right. worrying and, and, you know, mm -hmm. and now it's just like, I have no attention on that. It's actually really nice to not think about food. And yeah. I had a friend one time and it, it reminded me of this. She told me when she stopped smoking that yeah. she had so much time. She said, because she would literally plan her day around her smoking. <laughs> and I feel like that with eating, you know, like mm -hmm. she said, she would go like, oh, I'm going to Sally's house and she doesn't allow smoking. So I have to allow enough time to, you know, for me to have a cigarette before I go and one on the way so I can make mm -hmm. it through the get together. And then afterwards, blah, you know, like her whole, like, yeah. It's exhausting. You're thinking exhausting. about your next meal and what you're going to eat and, you know, your cravings and this, I can like live my life now, you know, I can right. like actually put attention on things I want to do and goals and, and family and, mm -hmm. you know, <clears throat> not have to, to be thinking like, Oh, okay. When am I going to eat next? Like, right. You know, and what am I going to eat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, oh, I'm going to feel you. crappy after. And so, you know, whatever. Yeah. You don't, you don't really think about that. And no, I've seen people who do what's called dirty carnivore, you know, yeah. they eat other things and they still are having like incredible Huge. wins. I mean, right. I, I call it the Ken Berry prescription because <clears throat> he makes it kind of easy. Do you know Ken Berry on YouTube? Yes. Dr. Ken Berry? Okay. Um, actually on Friday, he watched one of my videos and commented and I was like, blow it out. Yay, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. His <laughs> comment awesome. was, carnivore is the way <laughs> that was the comment on my video. And I love that. But, um, no, he like recommends like eat all animal products. If you can deal with onions and garlic, eat that. If you can deal with mustard, eat that. Some people have to be stricter than others. Like he makes it very yeah. accessible when some people maybe don't make it as accessible. So it seems like this crazy way of eating, but if you listen to what he says and then yeah. Like how you're talking now, I'm like, oh, I'm going to try this priming thing. Let me just get it down to like meat, salt, eggs, because that's generally what I eat anyways. Yeah. Um, but I want to try that very specifically and like strictly eat three meals a day and see in the in two weeks if there's any other like miraculous changes. I yeah, I I don't know if you've ever made the butter bites. Have no, but I the... just eat butter. <laughs> yeah. <Just go. laughs> yeah, I can't do that. So no, okay. I, I found the recipe for the butter bites and you, you know, you brown the butter and then you yeah. put it in silicone molds and then I would put that on my steak. I don't have to do that anymore. It's okay. so funny. Like my body has gone through so many evolutions where mm -hmm. it's like, I need this. I don't. And I feel that like, that's part of the healing, you yeah. know, it's just like, I need more food. Okay, good. Give it more food. And then that calms down. And then it's like, mm -hmm. Oh, I need this. And then that calms down, you know? Yeah. So I went through a time where I needed a lot more fat than I do mm -hmm. now. And mm -hmm. 
So I just started putting those butter bites on everything and, you know, that was fine. But yeah, I, it's, it's very interesting. Um, I, I do kind of, I do these funny experiments, you know, like yeah, I was at a, a get together and someone was like, are you still doing carnivore? Cause I had a bun on my burger yeah, and I was like, I just want to see, like, I want to see what happens, you know, like yeah. I want to see the effect. Right. Yeah. And so <clears throat> it wasn't pretty. I, I didn't like how I felt after it, but yeah, I wanted to see exactly how my body reacts because when I was yeah. eating that way, I could not tell. So, sure. so, you know, I've, if I get a burger when I'm out, I'll have some mustard on it. I don't, okay. I'm not like, you know, condiments are the devil or anything like yeah. that. I try to stay away from sugar um, mm -hmm. because I still, after, you know, two plus years of being on carnivore have a blood sugar issue. Okay. So it's, uh, I, what I've recently realized is I've been drinking milk in my cappuccinos. Oh, and okay. So the milk I think is, you know, it's kind of the only thing that could be still holding my blood sugar mm -hmm. uh, imbalance out of, you know, my Maybe. blood sugar out of place. Yeah. So I, I switched back to bulletproof, like putting butter in my coffee. I love coffee. I'm not going to, mm -hmm. you know, that's not, it's not technically carnivore, but <laughs> I, I did so well that well, yeah. I was hugging a mug. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we have a group that gets together on the weekends at coffee and, you know, uh -huh. so I'm, I just, I did so well without having to get rid of that, that, and you yeah. have to find that for yourself. You right. know, you have to, you know, I can't tell you what, you know, what's right, wrong or indifferent from in your way of eating. Like you have right. to find it for yourself. Some people can eat pork. I get very sick, you mm -hmm. know, um, mm. you just have to find your path in this. And I right. think some people think it has to be cut and dry, black and white this way. Yeah. And, um, you know, I just started a funny, you said onions. Yeah. I started experimenting with, um, doing, uh, sauteed onions on, you know, this ground brisket beef that we're doing. Mm -hmm. And I did it for a couple of days and then I started feeling like, kind of like indigestion. So I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, like, all right, I can't really do that a lot. Cause I don't right. like the way that feels, but, mm -hmm. um, you know, my husband started, um, experimenting with some fruits. Okay. You know, just to see he's been carnivore for so long. And really the first two years he wasn't very strict, but the last couple of years he's been very strict. And so okay. he just, you know, sometimes you're just like, oh, you hear someone talk about eating berries or, you mm -hmm. know, whatever. And it helped him with something. And he's, he's nine years older than me. So he's constantly, you know, trying to do things that are going to extend things and, you know, his right. life and like help him in some way, whether it's with right. muscle cramps or whatever. So, you know, he's doing that and he's like, you know what? I feel really tired today. So I'm like, okay, oh. well, maybe back off the berries, you know, or whatever. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you're so much more in the driver's seat. Right. That, you know, it's, I don't really consider it a cheat because I'm fully and knowingly deciding right. to do this. I'm right. not, I, I think a cheat is like you're, <clears throat> you're kind of apathetic that you can yeah. stay on your diet. And yeah. so then you go off of it. Right. So mm -hmm. I don't think, I don't feel like it's a cheat. I am 100% knowing right. that when I eat that thing, I'm making that decision to eat that coleslaw at a party or mm -hmm. whatever. I know I'm not going to feel good, but I right. know that. And I don't do it all the time. So right. like, I have to weigh like, do, is it worth it? Is it not? Mm -hmm. Do I want to just kind of feel how it tastes, you know, like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's never for me, it's never worth it because I do mm -hmm. feel so icky after, but right. sometimes you just want to have, you know, something else. Sure. And I don't feel deprived and that's why I do it. I do it just to like, sometimes do a little experiment and see, right. you know, like, okay, wow, that affected law area of my body, you know? Yeah. And you can see the cause and effect. It's more of an experiment than it is. Right anything else a cheat sure. you know totally yeah so. i think i feel the same way and um i like what robert kilt says dr kilt he says don't call it a cheat because it has to do with your mindset also call it a treat yeah. have a treat not a cheat because the, yeah. the treat is like the positive of it <clears throat> and the cheat is like now you're being negative against yourself and you don't need we don't need any more negativity <laughs> totally yeah. that's what i'm saying like you're yeah. like i am in full positive. knowing you know mind <laughs> that i yeah. am going to eat something that 
is not going to make my body feel good. But right. sometimes, and actually there are sometimes I eat something and it doesn't affect me that bad. Right. And then I kind of know like, okay, my body is like, it got rid of, got rid of it pretty quickly and mm -hmm. was done with it and didn't yeah. have to stick around, you know, also because I don't do it all the time. Right. Um, you know, we'll go weeks and weeks and weeks where we don't eat out. We don't eat anything out. We don't eat anything but ribeye, you know, um, or beef or whatever. Like I yeah. don't do anything else. And then there'll be a time my daughter's eating something and I'll take one of her little, you know, sure. Cassava chips or something. And I'm like, yeah. Oh, as soon as I <laughs> eat it, you know, so you just like, I don't know, you just yeah. you live your life. Some people think that sure you're not living your life when you're doing this. And I am here to say that like, I'm actually living more of my life because Aww. I can, you know, Yeah. because I feel better. I'm not wanting to just be home. I want, I'm like, okay, tell my 12 year old, I'm like, okay, what are we going to do today? You know, instead of going yeah. like, I just want to lay on the couch. I just want to yes. do nothing. Right. Exactly. Um, oh my God. I've <clears throat> been there. Been there. And that's yeah. a five-year-old and a six-year-old now six, uh, six and seven. It's, no, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. I feel you can that. harness I feel that. that energy somehow. Right. <laughs> Just make it power a small city. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh no. Uh, yeah. There's on. So Brianna's a little bit different. We were talking about her earlier or maybe before we started where I wasn't sleeping because she didn't like sleeping, but it wasn't like positive energy. And she, when it's in the middle of the night, I don't consider it positive. <laughs> no. But my son has like an on switch and an off switch. It's like, go, 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 go. And then off. And then it'll turn back on in the morning. Go, go, go. But he's a great sleeper. But yeah, that energy, like, <laughs> oh, man. You need it. You need yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, totally. No. Um, I Okay, well, we're almost at an hour, but I did have one yeah. question. And I'll communicate something before I'll preface it. Like, first I'll ask a question, then I'll explain what I mean, and then you can give your answer. Okay, so is there a specific food that you tried that made you feel like Superman? Like Superman. Yeah. Um, or like, like, like out of your mind, you feel so good. For me, that's ribeye. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. Like I, um, I like ground, I like other kinds of meats and everything, but yeah. I really, really like my body. Yeah. It, it really indicates to my body. Like I sit down with a ribeye and my body's like this, like this is our food, you know? Yeah. Um, and if I eat anything else, even ground beef, I feel yeah. good, okay. but I don't get that. Like, this is like inherently my body's just like, this is what, you know, that yeah. with, you know, maybe a little bit of butter. Um, but yeah, I, I don't, I don't really have anything that I eat on carnivore that does that like that. Oh, okay. Um, like, did I you would, mean in general? No, no, no. Like any oh. specific time, because I always go back to this story where I ate a plate of, I know it's going to sound gross, kidney, liver, and lung of cow. My husband prepared it for me and it had, um, it had some seasonings on it. And I ate it and it wasn't like, oh, this is amazing. I love it. it tastes so good. But like an hour later, I was like, Pfft. like so much space, like my mm. mind had opened up. Like it was something that the body needed so much, yeah. like the, the vitamins. And now I've never felt the same way again, but I do feel very good if I eat organ meats and I don't eat them all the time. Um, I specifically li like actually like chicken liver. It doesn't make mm. me feel that way. Um, that, that same way. Maybe that was the only time I will ever experience that. I don't know. Uh, today I have liver, kidney, and heart, and I'm going to cook that and eat that. Because if I buy it, I have to eat it right away or it turns into the vegetables. <laughs> It'll just sit there. Yeah. Like I have to force myself. That's the point. Don't do it if you have to force yourself to eat it. But I, I want to see if I can refill that thing that I felt that time. But I think it's because my body was lacking so much nutrition. Mm -hmm. And by the way, that was like at least several months in a carnivore before I, I tried that, but you can buy every part of the cow here. Like every part. I haven't tried yeah. testicles yet. <laughs> I don't know if I will. <laughs> Go girl. <laughs> I, apparently yeah. Those are amazing for you. Apparently. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I feel like that's the first thing I thought of when you said that was that, you know, like there's these different, uh, waves and layers of healing that you go through yeah. on this way of eating. And yeah. so something that you 
like you ate and it was just like, raw, you know, yeah. might not be the same later for me right. consistently. My body loves that ribeye. I personally do not like the organs and mm. like my husband eats those from time to time. I okay. do not. So I've never done that. And then, you know, I've heard different, you know, ways of thinking on this, you know, carnivore journey that, you know, you don't need it, you need it, you, you know, so I'm just like, right. okay, I'm, I've gotten to this point and I feel so amazing. I'm not going to worry about it. Like if I sure. did, I would take maybe the capsules, but I know that's not the same, you know? So right. I just, no, I have not. never, <laughs> I've never really been like, I want to eat organ meats, you know? So, sure. um, but yeah, I have felt like there are things that I was doing along the way that were, I felt fantastic. And then it stopped feeling fantastic, but it's not like the other diets where I was saying I would feel good for like two months and then I couldn't, right. it's not like that. It's more like, um, I could feel there was a transitioning and a healing happening in my body mm -hmm. and it needed more of something or less of something. And so I could easily, you know, steer it in that direction yeah. and know that that's what was happening. Um, but yeah, there've been times where it's just like, oh my gosh, we were on this, I don't know, uh, picanha, like we were eating oh, this, kind yeah. of, this picanha, right. And we were like, whoa, like we feel so good. And we're, you know, and then it was like, not so much, you know, like my <laughs> husband started having like allergic, like allergy type stuff. And, okay. you know, then you look into it and there's more like, you know, not to get into other things, but there's just like more allergens that can be in the in that meat, you know? And okay. so we're like, okay, good. That was a fun test and it tastes really good for a while. And then, you know, cause sure. sometimes you do want something different and right. you hope that it's going to make you feel like that. But I just keep going back to ribeye and that's my, that's, your, that's my that's stable, your like, you know, my body really loves that. And, and that's what go. it likes. So it's easy. I don't have to think sure. about it. You know? Yeah, exactly. And you don't have to force yourself to potentially eat something you don't really like, like I'm going to try today. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but I do feel good. I do feel good. I think I need those vitamins after so many years yeah. of depriving my body. So I'll do it, but not like, Ooh, I'm going to eat this all the time. <laughs> yeah. And I, and you know, with the vitamins and stuff, I've noticed that as I've gone through, there's layers, you yeah. know, you're like, you're reversing however many years mm -hmm. you were going normally on a standard American diet, even if you thought it was healthy, mm -hmm. um, you know, based on what we've been told our whole lives of vegetables and carbs, you need carbs, you have to have carbs, mm -hmm. you know, all of this stuff. Um, you're reversing that. So if yeah. you know that you, you relax in this way of eating, um, if you really like it and you relax and go, okay, I know it's going to, it's a journey, you know, right. and I'm going to learn so much about my body and myself mm -hmm. and, you know, um, how I've been feeling and, and you have those ups and downs. Some days I right. have felt crappy on carnivore mm -hmm. and it's, it's, and I know I'm just detoxing something or, right. you know, I'm going through a bit of healing and, and, and so then you're just like, okay, good. I'm just going to love my body through this, you know, and just right. keep doing what I'm doing. And then you get through it. And, and I do still take supplements. I do still have times when I'll, I'll go to my um, nutritionist and I'm like, okay, you know, something's not right. And it's, you know, sometimes my, um, if my sleep gets off or whatever, you know, my adrenals aren't doing well, you know, he'll just do a little bit of tweaking, but it's no longer the handfuls of, of vitamins. It's, you know, <laughs> one or two here and there. <laughs> oh my God. You know, this guy, Brian Johnson on YouTube, who's like, he's vegan, but he's like a millionaire or a billionaire. I don't know, whatever. And he's trying to biohack everything. But I think in one video, he was like taking a hundred supplements a day. And I'm like, this is silly. Yeah. <laughs> this That's is silly. Like, you're just propping yourself up. I feel like you know, with, <laughs> with vitamins, you know, there is, I mean, look, you can't deny you, there's a connection between what you put in your body and how it, how it works. Yeah, exactly. You know? So, you know, your, your liver actually has to process all those supplements. Right. So you're taxing your liver and you're not actually, mm -hmm. it's kind of like you're bypassing that something, you know? So like, yeah. you're not actually eating what you should. So then you got to supplement with all of that. Mm -hmm. And then you're taxing your liver at the same time. And, and, you know, I don't know what that does long-term. I know I didn't feel good. So sure. Um, sure. even yeah, doing it for a month or two, you know? 
Yeah, exactly. But, um, but I do think you need to supplement, sure. you know, to a certain degree because we don't get everything we need in, in everything we eat, even eating this, this way, you know? So sure. there are, you know, a couple of supplements I take for my hormones. There's a couple, there's a thyroid and an adrenal supplement I take and just keeps everything just awesome. Just good. That's great. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, we're at one hour now. Is there anything wow. else you'd like to, I know it goes fast. Um, is there anything else you want to say before we uh, finish our little conversation today? I don't think so. I just think that um, if someone is going to try carnivore, the, the try part should be longer, you know, like give it a really good, like kind of do similar to what I did, <clears throat> excuse me, and like immerse yourself in it and really find out about it. It's not going to hurt. You're sure. not, it's not going to cause any damage to your body. You're not going to, you know, you're going to learn a lot about your body. And I just feel like sometimes people try it for a few weeks and they don't feel good. And I don't know anything that I've tried on in terms of eating where I felt amazing, you know, mm -hmm. right off the bat, like you have to go through some stuff, you know, mm -hmm. give it, give it six months, give it, you know, like really, if you have body issues, it will handle it. And even if you don't stick to it, at least you, you, you know, gave it that enough time to really go in and heal your body and, and, you know, and help you in some way, but like, you know, judging it from just doing it a couple of weeks or even, you know, a couple of days is not, <laughs> it's not a way to, to judge it because it really yeah. is the way, you know, I, I feel how we should eat. And, um, I don't think that it's for everybody. I, by any means, I don't think that it's for everybody because some people physically cannot, you know, eat the way we do. Right. Um, but for most people, I do think it has amazing effects on the body in a good way. Okay. Awesome. So, yeah. Well, thank you for having me. This is so yeah, fun. Sure. This is great. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. we can do it again sometime. If you ever want to do, go live, uh, you're welcome to hop on a live stream with me. Oh, cool. <laughs> I'm, I'm, sure. I'm recording.